Hey, how's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. This is Jerry with Wealth Dynamics, just leaving the gym this morning. Had an excellent workout, and now I want to come to you live this morning at 6.22 a.m. to talk to you about why you are not you. Now, what do I mean by that? All your life, you've grown up with your name, right? My name is Jerry. Full name's Jeremiah. People have been calling me that, that since I was zero years old, all the way up till today. Okay, but that's just an example of my personal belief. So my belief is that I'm not a person, I'm a spiritual being. I happen to live in a body at the present moment. And what that means is I'm not actually me. Like my name might not actually be Jerry. That's what I'm called, but I don't think that's actually my name. And that's an example of my belief on you're not you also pertaining to your current situation. Okay, if you're a spiritual being, I believe that means that you're capable of a lot more than you think you are. You probably don't even know how much you're capable of. And the only reason you're not doing it is because of the identity you've assumed as somebody that can't or won't do those things. Okay, take somebody that's trying to improve financially. Take, take somebody, for example, that wants to be a, a billionaire. Okay, the only reason that they're not a billionaire is they currently have some sort of identity that they've given themselves that says, A, either I don't know how to be a billionaire, or B, I have too many obstacles that prevent me from being a billionaire, or C, that's just not me. Like, I just can't do it, it's not me. Even if their goal is to become a billionaire, the identity they've assumed is holding them back from doing it. And this can go both on the successful side and on the unsuccessful side, guys. So you could be successful, and that might be wrapped up in your identity. You think, oh, I'm, maybe you are a billionaire. I am a billionaire. Like, let's say that that's your identity. I am currently a billionaire. That's not you, though. Like, you could be a, a trillionaire. Or, or, you know, maybe it's not even money at that point. Maybe it's what could you be doing with that money. Like, what are the great things you could do in society like Andrew Carnegie did, right? So when you give yourself an identity, you're actually giving yourself a, a fixed belief system about who you are, what you do, and what you have. And so when you give yourself that identity, that fixed belief system prevents you from being anybody. Like at any point in any day, you should be able to be anybody. If I wanna be a billionaire, I can do that. If I wanna be a great husband, I can do that. If I wanna be an excellent business tycoon, I can do that. But your ability to do that is gonna be based on your belief about yourself. Now this is not Skittles and rainbows and rub your ear and, and say kumbaya and, and feel better about yourself. Like you actually do have to make changes happen. But it's gonna be wrapped up in your identity. Okay, that's my point today is, guys, you need to have the attitude that you are not any of your circumstances. Whether they are currently successful or unsuccessful, you are not any one of those single circumstances. You should honestly be unaffected by success or failure. Like you should have an idea. You should be able to have an idea and say, hey, I'm gonna make that idea happen and then just go do it. And not be emotionally attached to the outcome. Because when you're emotionally attached to the outcome, it's because you've made your idea your identity and now there's emotional pain tied to if you don't make the idea happen or there's an emotional high tied to if you do or choose the idea. If you do make it happen, if you do achieve the goal. So you need to actually be like, just totally like, I'm cool with whatever outcome there is and I know that I'm capable of achieving it. It's almost an idea, an, an attitude of full confidence, but not giving a crap. Like think about how could I live my day today and every day with full confidence in my, my ability, but also not give a crap about the outcome. Like I, I don't care either way, I'm gonna win no matter what. I don't give a crap, but I know I'm gonna. You know what I mean? It's a tension there. Not, not very many people get that. And that's why we get this identity thing so misconstrued we have to be someone like that's our belief like if, well, if I'm not Jerry who am I or if I'm not a if I'm not a husband who am I or if I'm not a, a, a mom who am I or if I'm not a, a dad who am I and you you get wrapped up in the identity and really it's about not what you are but what you create so what are you gonna create today you're waking up it's Monday morning you got the opportunity to make today a very big day and your identity is going to cause whether or not you do that so if you were somebody on Friday and Friday didn't go so well, don't be that person today. Like if you're watching this and you're like, hey man, I'm Doug and on Friday Doug kicked ass, then be Doug again on Monday. But if on Friday Doug didn't kick ass, be someone different today. Be someone that would kick ass. You see what I'm saying? So guys, I wanted to share that with you. By the way, Douglas Drillard in the comments, if you're not following my boy Douglas, you need to right now. Make sure you look him up on Facebook. Also go to Shrine Development. If you have an app, 
currently that you need to have fixed because someone jacked it up and it needs some virtual braces, Doug will help you out. If you haven't built your app yet, but you've got a wonderful idea and you know you need the technology, Doug will help you out. And if you just need a tech team, maybe you're, you're technology illiterate and you need a tech team, you need a CTO, go reach out to Doug. Okay? So guys, thank you. I appreciate it. I will talk to you next time.